So when I was in my late 20s, I was working on a film. I didn't really want to be there. I was mad at my friend who was directing it. And one morning I'm in the shower and I sneezed and my back went out. This had never happened to me before. And uh, I couldn't walk. I mean, it was like in such excruciating pain. And I couldn't work on the film anymore. And, you know, I didn't really want to work on the film. So I kind of had an excuse, I guess. But I didn't want that pain. And the back pain just like pursued me for years. I just had back pain for years. And it was really, really, you know, debilitating. And I read this book once by this chiropractor named John Sarno. And he basically said, you know, back pain really is psychosomatic. And uh, if you just read this book, your back pain will go away. And I was like, okay, I'll try it. So I read the book and my back pain did go away. It was crazy. It didn't go away forever, but it went away like for a while. And I was like, okay, so this is psychosomatic. And then, you know, a few years later, I was fighting with my girlfriend and my back pain came back and I went to see like a, a body worker. She was like a kind of like a new age um, massage therapist, healer kind of person. And I said, you know, my back hurts. Could you, could you, you know, help me? And she said, yeah, sure. She said, talk to your father. And I was like, excuse me? She said, I want you to have a conversation with your father. I want you to be you and then I want you to be your father and have a dialogue. I was like, I just really, my back hurts. She said, I know, <laughs> just have a conversation with your father. I was like, you mean out loud? She said, yeah, out loud. I want to hear it. I was like, I really feel uh, stupid. She's like, just say it anyway. It doesn't matter. I was like, oh, I don't know what to say. She said, just say whatever comes to mind. And I was like, oh, yeah, I was thinking, I hate this so much. I hate this so much. And I just said, hi, dad. <laughs> and my, then I said, hey, son, it's good to, it's good to see you. And I was like, really? And he was like, yeah, I love you and I miss you. And I was like, you do? And he was like, of course I do. Do I not show it? And I was like, yeah, you kind of don't really show it. And he was like, I'm really sorry. I, I, I'm just not very good at showing love. This sounds more like me than my dad, but <laughs> this is how it was going. And then I was like, you know, I've been really mad at you. And he was like, oh, really? Why? I was like, I don't know. I feel like... You abandoned our family. And then he was like, I didn't want to. I mean, I don't know what to do. Your, your mother <laughs> didn't want me around. I said, I know, but like when you saw us, you didn't really try very hard. And he said, I didn't know how. I, you know, I, I don't, I'm not really socially that comfortable. <laughs> and you know, it was all my mind. It wasn't his mind, it was my mind. And I don't know, just in the course of this conversation, I just had all this greater empathy for him. And at a certain point, the woman said, how's your back doing? And I was like, oh my God, my back pain is completely gone. Like it's, there's none. I'm just completely fine. Like, and I, I couldn't believe it. And all I did was I talked to my father in my head. And I was so excited. I was like, oh my God, I think I'm cured. This is completely psychosomatic. And I went to see my girlfriend <laughs> and I said, my back isn't hurting. And it's amazing, this person I just talked to. And my girlfriend was mad at me about something and she started like berating me. And immediately my back pain came back, like just immediately. I was like, oh my God, this is so psychological. And, you know, it would come and go, but I think just knowing that it was psychological really helped me get over it. And I haven't had any back pain in years. And you know, new agers say that back pain is when you don't feel supported by the universe. And I don't know why, but I guess I do now.